Hey, what's up guys? Now we got the H100i GTX. This is basically... <laughs> Do that again? <laughs> yes, this is the cream of the crop, the most hardcore series. <laughs> Let me stop. It's a water cooler all in one. Let's get it installed. All right, one of the first things you wanna do guys is go ahead and put in your RAM inside the slots available on your motherboard before moving on to other parts of your build because it's already outside and it would be pretty easy to do that. And then also put in your CPU. You wanna use the back of your motherboard box because it's gonna be a pretty good way to do it. Clicks in, you're all set to go. Once again, guys, we're going with 32 gigabytes of RAM. So we have a few more to do compared to most people. Okay, let's do the CPU next. So go ahead and go open it up. Right here, we got the Intel Ice Core 7. Whew, yeah, guys. Intel doesn't even play no more. They don't even bring out a freaking regular. You remember old school Intel coolers? They don't even expect you to use it anymore. They just say straight up, use you the big boy. Buy, buy this shit. Smaller than you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Actually, expecting these new processors to be bigger. You like that. All right, guys, one of the most important things to do is go ahead and put it in your rear I.O. shield. Just like how Gem is doing right now, you gotta put it in the right direction or it will not look correct. Really simple, clips in place, and now you're all set. All right, guys, go ahead and put your motherboard in. Should be very simple to see when you're very much lined up, depending on your rear I.O.s. Once everything is pushed all the way out inside the right spot, be very simple and snug fit. So Jem is just actually adjusting everything right now. Make sure everything is lined up onto the standoffs. Use motherboard screws. And if your case requires you to put standoffs, put your standoffs in. Because what would happen? You get that short. <laughs> All right, so guys, let's go ahead and install the, the power supply. We're personally facing the power supply downwards, which is normally a good if you have a dust filter down there, which um, we definitely do, as you guys will see. Once again, this is the EVGA 750G2 power supply. It's 80 plus gold. That's a very good rating. We sh you know what? Plug in the wires first. <laughs> if you screw this in first, it's gonna be a lot harder. What? Yeah, don't you think? Or you'll be fine. Oh. Hey, he has the dexterity. That ain't me. All right, that's the power supply in place. We just gotta hook up all the wires, and we'll be off from there. Now we're gonna actually go ahead and put it up. So that's the rear IO right there. Power supply right there. And that is the very well put together bundle of cables. Okay. Yeah, so guys, this right here, you guys all should try to use this if you have one. This just makes installing the front panel Connectors for the power button, reset button, all that stuff a lot easier. HD LED, HD LED. Right here. Alright, guys, so once you go ahead and put everything in place in the little adapter, huh? It's all in one spot. Yeah, all in one spot. You go ahead and find the spot on the motherboard and put them in place. Put 
Bye bye. And then from the back, you pull out the excess wire to do your wire management in the. Oh, wait, what are you just. Oh, yes, that's true. Neater. Because <laughs> that was the default way, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you could be neater, be neater. All right, guys, so next we're going to do the USB 3.0 header. Gem is going ahead and putting it in the back to actually go ahead and get it to a lower slot. This is all purely for wire management purposes, which is the reason I have Gem here because I'll get it fed up with all this stuff. Plugs it in real neat and he'll thread everything back there. In the end, there's going to be LEDs and flashing lights, so something a little bit more showy. And then we got right here. Two point oh, last for me. Attaching the SSD to the motherboard plate, which I like. I said this is just an ingenious freaking design. I've never had a case I was able to do this before. I've actually not worked on a case that's like this before. Have you, Jim? My little well, mine is almost like this. Mm -hmm. Except it has the this mm -hmm. right here. Um, like there's a little cover that covers the power supply. And okay. Right here. Oh, it makes it right there. Oh, even though won't be any really heat going on across of it. I mean, airflow much, but still. Gotta hold it in place. That looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it was a good idea. <laughs> I think it was a good idea to get this case and put it in the back. Yep. Not regretting this at all. All right, guys. Right now, we're installing the all-in-one cooler which is one of the most annoying parts of any build for me personally. But once it's on, it's on. So you gotta put the fans in place. We're doing a push method where basically air is getting pushed out of to the top of the case. And that's where it's gonna basically work right there. And we're gonna connect all the fans. So I'm just gonna try to put this in place. These different tubes are really is hard to work with. Here's the top guys, we're connecting back up all the top buttons and clipping this back into place. Remember, all of our hot air is going to be vented out these holes right here in the back, but it's supposed to like keep the sound away from you as well. Love the clicking design, man. We've been manhandling this case with no scratches. Alright guys, what you guys are seeing right here is the design for a Be Quiet hard drive mount. It's really cool because you have these little rubber things right there that slide into the railing for the hard drive cage. Now, I wish I had another SSD so I could just remove the hard drive cage completely and don't use a, to use a bigger standard hard drive. But I'm gonna need to put some hard drives in here because I'm gonna need storage down the line just as backup. Yeah. Wherever is easy for wearing mine, if you're free. If it's too cluttered up top. Actually, sorry to bug you. But it'd be better if you put it bottom because I'll let more air cross through to the graphics card. I just thought about that now. And now it's locked in place until it's already locked. Now, taking it out is not. Not impossible. So that's what the locking mechanism is for. Locks the hard drive in place. All right, now we're gonna put in the DVD drive, the one thing I really don't wanna put in the damn computer. But because it was free, technically, because it's, it's tr been transferring from a really old desktop I have had all the way to this desktop, this, like, this DVD drive has been with all my bills for a pretty damn long time, for years. I love that, like, isn't that so useful? Yeah. Just slide it and then boom, it's out of your way. All right, next up, guys, we're gonna be putting our capture card. This is the HDMI capture card. So, go ahead and set that in place. In the PCIe 1X. So if you guys ever wanna see how you install an internal capture card, that's basically it. 
Then you download the driver from the website, or if you have a driver CD, you start off with that. Usually the driver CD is outdated, so I wouldn't start off with the driver CD. And that's literally it. Next up is the graphics card, and it's a huge one. So there's clips down there, guys, for the motherboard. So you put it in place. You can hear a click. It's the lock right there. It'll flip up. In the back, Gem will see. Just get the back of the gem, see if it's actually in place, and that's basically it. Leave that cover on. All right, so now we're gonna plug all that up and go from there. How you done? <laughs> so, bro, we have all the parts right here, all in the boxes. I really gotta shout out EVGA for this little bag. It actually held all of our extra crap, so yeah. that was really nice. And uh, we have a crappy DVI monitor and a boss just, just to test with. But your work right here, your wire management. What did I get you to do? Oh snap, my bro! So. As you guys can see, man, no wires are actually cutting across the graphics card whatsoever. Even though you guys know this is kind of a bitch for the um, all-in-one cooler, the USB header. So tell them what you did with this one to get that to work, because that was kind of tricky, right? This, well, this, I had to put through through the back, mm -hmm. uh, go across. I come out of here and slide it through this, this little gap right here, so I, just so I can fit. Yeah, and then we had like, because there's no like holes on this motherboard because it's a mid ATX. So we had no real place to hide like, you know, the cables right here. But still, I think it looked came pretty good. Unfortunately, we had to keep the freaking hard drive bay in there just because this, this one. one hard drive. Maybe later on, I'll upgrade to a one terabyte SSD when they get cheaper and put that terabyte up right here. The SSD right up top here underneath there. And then when that's done, then we get rid of the hard drive bay altogether and just have those fans blown in there. Those be quiet fans right here. He was able to take care of that um, adapter right over here. Absolutely excellent. So, um, do you think it's that time, man? Do you think it's that time we actually finally turn it on? Yes. All right, so you could do the honors, my brother. You, you could fingers. close yeah. your fingers. Intel iCore 7 inside. Let's do it. Ooh -wee. Lights are on. I want to see the back fan turning on. This one is. Ah. It is turned on. Oh. It's low, low fan adapter. Yes. Okay. Alright. Alright, so everything turns on. Alright, just hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Put on the case. Let me see what it looks like with the case on. Alright, go ahead. Oh, yeah, take off the plastic. So, yeah, guys, that's basically the computer right there. I'm gonna go into more of it real soon. Once we go ahead and set up the LEDs, set up the configurations and all that jazz right quick. But I just got to be really happy with it right now, man. I'm just glad it turns on. This is easier to do with two hands. Let's see this so it's not all the way on right now, but... The white makes it very... You can see everything. Yeah, when it pulses white, it's nuts. But yeah, guys, we're going to go into the BIOS, mess, up, mess with it real quick. And just check it out. Thanks for watching. This is Vicky and Jim. Whew, this has been a cool ass build. I had a lot of fun doing it. Jim did an absolutely great job with my wire management because I don't got the patience for that. Helped out a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be able to set it all up. Um, there's a lot more stuff to come for this. Um, a lot more stuff like a GoPro gimbal. I know I didn't have it. Right now I'm handheld with a GoPro, but soon in about a week time, I'll have a gimbal to make it all HD and smooth. So till next time, like, subscribe, links to all the parts for this build in the description. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my old build yet. Maybe I'll give away some parts. Maybe I'll give away my whole entire other build. My other build, once again, was cost like uh, $1,500. That was three years ago. So both my builds cost the same amount of money, which is kind of pretty damn cool, all considering for three years apart. Peace out, guys. Guys, we forgot to mention something. Jim, tell them. It's quiet as hell. The case was so quiet that we literally forgot to mention that it's a be quiet case. The whole entire point of this whole entire build was to make a silent computer to the point when we turned it on and you guys saw us do it live, there is no noise. We don't... Like, here, you gotta get close to hear a little hum. Real close. 
And the only hum you're getting is in from the top and it's coming from the actual um, the all-in-one liquid cooler. That's it. Oh, and we forgot to put on the freaking legs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. To, we took that off just a while to build. So legs are going to go on. You guys saw the legs in my re full review. But, oh, so good, guys. All right, we're going to go set up the bios, do everything like that. I'll be back with more. Once again, freaking it's quiet as hell.